Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on today's video. This is part three of my spring cleaning series and part two in the kitchen. If you're looking for some spring cleaning motivation, you're in the right place. Today, I'll be following my deep cleaning checklist for my kitchen appliances. If you're cleaning with me, grab your supplies. If you're here for motivation to use later, get comfy and let's get this done. In last week's video, I focused on cleaning the cabinets, doors, trim, walls, windows, and several other items on my deep cleaning checklist. This week's video focuses solely on the appliances. Here you can see some of the surface level dirt, but later in the video, you are going to see some things. Keep watching to find out what those things are. Also, I will share my solution for handling spills in the oven and air fryer, and I'll be telling you which task gave me the biggest fit. And I'll tell you one thing, I may need your help with this one. Here is my custom checklist for deep cleaning the appliances. Leave a comment below and let me know if you think I'm going to get all of these things cleaned in one day or if this is way too ambitious for that. The first item that I'm going to tackle on today's checklist is the oven. I'm using a damp paper towel to clean the debris from the surface before I start the deep cleaning process. Now that I've wiped off the debris, I'm going to use this Sprayway, Sprayway Grill and Oven Cleaner. I will let you know later on in the video my honest review of this product. I'm going to let this foam sit while I start cleaning the air fryer trays. I'm using this scrub mommy to break up debris before moving on to the next step in the cleaning process. Think 
Let me take this moment to make a proper introduction. Hi, I'm T, a married mom of five. Four, our young adults are not in the home anymore and we're still raising our 10-year-old. We also have a four-week-old granddaughter at the time of this recording. On this channel, you will see cleaning motivation, DIY home improvement, and room makeovers. If this is something that interests you, please consider subscribing to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I hope you're enjoying what you're seeing so far. If you are a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you, thank you, thank you. Your continuing support means more than you'll ever know. I am finally jumping on the Dawn Power Wash trend. My goal is to see if it can help to break up the grease from the air fryer trays. Round one was not as successful as I'd hoped, so I'm spraying on a little bit more Dawn Power Wash, or quite a bit of Dawn Power Wash, and I'm just going to let that sit there for a while. Not much has changed after round two, so I'm going to use a scouring pad as my next step. I'm on the run, afraid of heights, and too much for sound, but oh, you make me numb, like no one else, you're too much to call me.
If you are enjoying this video, please like, share, and comment. These activities really help my channel. This is round three of the Dawn Power Wash, but this time I'm going to use some baking soda to make a paste and let that sit for a while. So I pre-treated the oven with some Sprayway grill and oven cleaner. I found this product at TJ Maxx last fall and here's my honest review of it. While it did a fantastic job of breaking up the grease and grime, the amount of residue that was left behind is unbelievable. The surfaces of both the oven and the air fryer looked shiny after I was um, done cleaning them, but minutes, hours, and even days later, I had to keep wiping away residue from both appliances. I was planning to use this cleaner uh, for my grill as well, but now I'm hesitant, I'm hesitant to do so. Um, the bottom line is that I really wanted to like this Sprayway product because they're a glass cleaner and all-purpose cleaner works so well. Unfortunately, I'm going to label this grill and oven cleaner as a do not buy.
can't remember where I am A mattress on an old wood floor And fragments of the night before I don't wanna waste no time And you don't wanna waste your love Even though you kiss on fire My mind is all blurry now Feeling low, hard to breathe But this I know now it's time to see if the baking soda and Dawn Power Wash paste are going to break up the grease. Here I'm using a scouring pad. Earlier in the video, I mentioned my solutions for uh, protecting the oven and air fryer from spills. This one here is what I'm using for the oven. This is a heat resistant, um, it's, cut, it's an oven liner that I purchased on Amazon. I will link it below if you're interested. I just need to point out something quickly. Do you see this right here, this little piece of plastic on my stove? While I was deep cleaning it, I noticed a tiny little piece and I was wondering like, what in the world is this? So I started to pull it and I realized that that entire piece of plastic has been on my stove for years. No one in my house noticed. The cleaners did not notice. The installers did not notice. I, I think we've had the stove for about three years, maybe four, and that piece of plastic had been there the entire time. My solution for preventing further spills in the air fryer is just old fashioned aluminum foil. Since none of my attempts to clean all of the grease from the air fryer trays worked, please leave a comment below if you have any suggestions. Now it's time to move the stove so that I can paint behind it but also see what lurks beneath it. Here is the unedited truth of what was under our stove. There is some candy, there are quite a few pretzels, I even found some toys and a magnet from one of the national parks that we visited. So how did we get here? My best guess is that the robot vacuum, which runs overnight, um, it probably propels some of the items that it finds in front of the stove. Um, and then that's why we have what we have here. Of course, I don't think anyone would purposely shove a bunch of things under the stove. Um, but right here you see me using the handheld vacuum trying to pick up some of the items. Here are some toys that I found under the stove. But that handheld vacuum does not do the job. So I break out the large Dyson with the hose and I get up pretty much everything that's down there. When I'm done, it's gonna look like there's some more um, particles or some more um, things at the bottom of the, or on the floor, but there aren't, that's just some discoloration. There's even some dried, um, what is it? The dried grout from the tiling that was done above. So I'm going to get up pretty much everything that's loose and then I'm going to use a mop, a flat mop, to clean the wood floors. On a related note, I don't know why we either didn't install wood planks under the stove or what, if we did, why we removed them, just in case you were wondering.
Now it's time to prep the surfaces for a painting. I'm going to start by using this tack cloth. By the way, I have this on hand already because I've been working on a room makeover for the past few weeks. Uh, because of the weather, I haven't been able to finish. So, but anyway, I have this tack cloth on hand and I'm using it to wipe off the dust and any debris that is on the sides of the cabinets as well as the wall behind the stove. As I mentioned, I am already working on another home improvement, well, another room makeover project. Um, so I already had this white paint and the supplies out. This little piece of wood here has been bugging me for the longest time. When we had our countertops replaced about three years ago, one of the installers suggested that we get a piece of wood to shore up the, um, the countertop. So my husband went out and grabbed a piece um, it's on the one to my left. He grabbed that piece of MDF and put it there for the, um, the installer to use. The edge was still unpainted so I could see it and it bothered me. So I decided since I have the white paint out, go ahead and tackle that. But now you see me painting the sides of the cabinets. I'm never going to see these things until we pull out the oven uh, again. But in the moment I just thought let me go ahead and paint this to make it look a little bit better. I'm also going to paint the wall behind the stove. As you can see the bottom part of that is unfinished but I'm going to finish it with this gray paint. This is the same gray paint that we have in the rest of our house. You see a little bit of yellow above. That's what color the kitchen was before we had it completely um, uh, made over back in 20... I want to say 2021. We have so many projects done all the time but I think it was 2021 we had um, yellow paint before we had it painted gray and then we had a different backsplash that was taken out of replace so once that new backsplash was installed you could see the yellow and it was just again annoying me so I decided to go ahead and just take care of all of that while I was deep cleaning the kitchen this time this is a steam cleaner. I put water in it and turned on the microwave. What this does is breaks up the particles inside of the microwave, all of the dried on bits, and then you can just use a, uh, a sponge to wipe off most of what you see. At the bottom right, however, there is some really thick, I don't even know what that is, but the steamer didn't get that off, so I'm gonna have to try something else later, but it does come off. I can't forget what you'll die. The way you act won't take me back Just go, go, go Go, go, go Yeah, I can't forget what you've done The way you act won't take me back Just go, go, go Go, go Cause I just wanna go, go, go to the deep end I just wanna go Here, my husband is about to put the stove back into place, but before he does that, I have to clean the sides. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, you're up in space. You're 
If you saw last week's video, you may remember these cleaning wipes that I purchased from Dollar Tree. They do a really good job cleaning. They're really moist and they do not leave a lot of streaks. You're the traveling kind. It's a known fact. Yeah, I know that. Now it's time to complete one of the most satisfying tasks in the kitchen and that is cleaning the stovetop. Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I will ever figure out where the road goes even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down So high, trusting our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down. The last step in cleaning the stovetop is to use this glass cleaner to get it nice and shiny. Keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind. It is time to check off a few items from my list. Even if the sky is falling down. I have moved on to the dishwasher. I'm going to uh, clean out the filter and all of the pieces that are related to that. And then I'm going to run a self-cleaning cycle. Searching for something that ain't lost 
God, our lines cross. We're wasting time on stuff that doesn't really matter. While wishing for something better, I try to fix things that weren't broken. Misunderstandings and words unspoken. We fall apart, and I won't dare to say. Did you catch my mistake there? I used a dish cleaning pod instead of a dishwasher cleaning tablet, but it's okay, I can use the tablet later. You don't see what you have in front of you. Well, maybe I'm not enough for you. Well, we got it done. Thank you for following along as I followed my deep cleaning checklist for my kitchen appliances. While that list was quite ambitious to get into one video, I did tackle all of the items on that list. Stay tuned for next week's video in which I will deep clean the refrigerator. If you enjoyed this content, please give it a big thumbs up. If you would like to see more of this in the future, please click the subscribe button. And when you do, don't forget to click the notification bell so that you won't miss out on future uploads. Until the next time, stay blessed.